Hi guys. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show uh, one of the frequently asked question that comes under the networking uh, basics and fundamentals. Let's say you have a, a PC with IP address 192.168.1.4, which connect to switch 10. And uh, in switch 10, all the interfaces are configured with VLAN 10. Let's say uh, switch 10 show switch 10 I give show VLAN brief I can see there is only one VLAN VLAN 10 and all the interfaces falls under that VLAN that is connected to switch 20 and uh, in switch 20 also when I give show VLAN brief we can see there is only one VLAN VLAN 20 that is configured with uh, you know all the interfaces in that switch and that switch connects to uh, PC5 with IP 192.168 uh, 1.5/24. Now um, the question is like uh, you know this IP uh, of the PCs are falls under the same uh, slash 24 subnet 192.168.1.4/24 and 192.168.1.5/24. But switch 10, all the interfaces we configured with VLAN 10 and switch. Uh, 20 all the interfaces are configured with uh, uh, VLAN 20 Now when you initiate a ping from PC 4 to PC uh, 5 Whether the ping will work or not So this will be the question So this question basically, uh, you know is to uh, You know uh, sometimes it's a uh, you know, it will confuse the candidate because switch 10 all the interfaces are with VLAN 10 and switch 20 all the interfaces are configured with VLAN 20 so I mean I, at first you know when you just uh, oversee the question uh, switch 10 is only with VLAN 10 and switch 20 only with VLAN 20 we might think that you know um, the ping uh, will not work because one switch is only with VLAN 10 and another switch is uh, only with VLAN 20 but uh, before we answer this question uh, we need to understand uh, that concept you know how switch forwards the packet when the switch receives and sends a packet out of the outgoing interface if the outgoing interface is an access port it will strip off the vlan and then it will send only the ip packet and when the packet uh, reaches switch 20 it will add the VLAN configured on that particular port if the port is a access port and if the interface configured between the switches it's a trunk port and if the VLAN is not allowed on the interface the switch will not forward the packet out of that trunk port because the VLAN tag information is carried over the trunk port not on the access port so I repeat again like when the switch port that is connected to another switch if it is an access port it will strip off the vlan and it will send only uh, i mean the frame without the uh, vlan id on it but if the interface connected to another switch is a trunk port um, it will send the packet out with vlan tag 10 only if the trunk port is allowed with that uh, uh, vlan 10 In this case, uh, if it's let's say if it's a trunk port, and you send out the let's say VLAN 10 is allowed here, it sends uh, it goes out, but when it received in switch 20, uh, switch 20, if it is all interfaces including the trunk features, uh, it's configured only with VLAN 20, the switch will drop the packet because it doesn't match with the VLAN 10. So in this uh, example which I showed, um, both the switch 10 and 20. Or configured with the uh, access port check the uh, running configuration you can see all the interfaces uh, like uh, 0102 with the switch port access 10 so it's an access port and VLAN 20 also I give show run we can see uh, all the interfaces with the switch port access VLAN 20 so when all the interfaces or I would say the interface connecting between the switch uh, 10 and uh, 20 if it's access port 
the ping should work we'll see that so i'm from uh, you know i am in uh, switch pc4 actually i'll show that ip config so the ip is 192.168.1.4 let me initiate a ping to 192.168.1.5 So I was in the simulation mode. Uh, let me come back to the real time. And you can see the ping was successful. That is from PC4, I'm able to ping uh, the PC5 IP, that is 1.5. So when I initiate a ping, the packet reaches switch 10. And switch 10, all the interfaces are in access port and all, the, all of them with the VLAN 10. And uh, when it receives the packet, uh, it uh, encapsulates with VLAN uh, 10 and uh, when it's sending the packet outside of this interface faster than 0 slash 2 it will strip off the VLAN 10 and it will send out uh, the packet without any VLAN information and when it reaches switch 20 uh, switch 20 interface uh, FA 0 slash 2 is configured with the switch port access VLAN 20 so it will add VLAN 20 here and when the packet is sent out uh, FA 0 slash 1 again it's access port the VLAN information will be stripped off and uh, the packet reaches PC5. So the ping um, is working. Now, uh, when I configure uh, this uh, interface, uh, you know, between the switches as a trunk port, and I, if I allow only VLAN 10 here and a VLAN 20 here, the ping will fail. I will show that now. So I am in switch 10, going to config mode, and uh, so I have to change this FA0 slash 2 in both the switches into trunk port. Okay, FA0 slash 2 in okay, config mode. Okay, mode in config mode, interface FA0 slash 2. Switch port mode, trunk. Switch mode, trunk. The switch port mode trunk I have given then switch port trunk allowed VLAN 10. So now on interface that is connected to another switch, I have given uh, switch port trunk allowed VLAN 10, switch mode mode trunk. So let me do show run. So this switch port interface uh, 0 slash 2, I made it to a trunk port and I'm allowing only VLAN 10. Uh, same thing we'll do on uh, switch 20 also. So right now it is with the access port. So the interface FA 0 slash 2. This is VLAN 20. Switch port access, sorry, switch port uh, trunk port mode. I'm making it to trunk and switch port trunk hello VLAN. Sorry, here I'm going to give 10. now i made them as a trunk port now let's see whether the ping works when i initiate a ping from pc1 to you know uh, sorry pc4 to pc5 let me check my ip config here this is a pc4 and i'm initiating ping to 1.5 so now you can see um, the ping is failing because we configured a you know um, the switch port uh, you know that is connecting between the switches as a trunk port so when you configure as a trunk port and allow VLAN only 10 here the packet will go out and uh, it will reach uh, I mean when it goes out it will be tagged with VLAN 10 and when it reaches 
uh, switch 20 on this trunk port in which we allowed only VLAN 20. So when the packet uh, comes with VLAN 10, I will simply discard that. So basically answer to this uh, question would be like, uh, you know, um, when you have the uh, interface configured between the switches as an access port um, and you have like all ports in uh, switch 10 as VLAN 10 and all ports in switch 20 as VLAN 20, the ping will work, work perfectly if it's access port. And uh, if it's a trunk port, uh, the ping will fail. So that will be the right answer. And uh, definitely uh, when you say uh, this answer, uh, you need to explain what happens when it is an access port and what happens when it's a trunk port. So if it's an access port, uh, when the packet goes out, the VLAN gets stripped off. And when it reaches VLAN 20, again, it will be added with VLAN 20. And again, when the packet goes out, it will get stripped off and uh, the packet reaches the destination. And if it's a trunk port, uh, since we are allowing only VLAN 10, um, the packet will be tagged with the VLAN uh, 10 over the trunk port and it reaches switch 20 in which on the trunk port we are allowing VLAN 20 only. So the switch to 20 will discard it. So that's why it is getting failed. So that will be the uh, right answer. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell button so that when I add uh, another interview question, you will get an alert.